All right, so we're going to talk about this fun one conceptually first. So I'm going to pull up my snipping tool so we can talk about the claw. So key things I'm identifying center points. So when I'm looking at this, there we go. Uh, here I've got a clear center line that bisects the hexagon uh, and the, or the bolt, the nut that is the hexagon. Um, here I've not got some dimensions that are going to come into play later on. Uh, and I have to break this up. This one is a funny fella as well. So uh, there is a tool in AutoCAD called Blend Curves. And that is something that is not available in AutoCAD Online. That being said, it doesn't mean that you cannot do this. It's just a little trickier and it requires a little more know-how. So when I'm looking at AutoCAD, here we go. Let me, um, let's just delete the whole thing. Why not? <laughs> and it's gone now. Okay. So first thing I'm going to start with is the, the nut over on the side because it's super easy. It's five and a half inches away from origin. Let's do that. So I'm going to get my circle tool on my main layer. I'm going to input coordinates as 5.5 comma zero. Boom. Easy. The radius is 0.16. That's half of 0.32. Great. Now to draw the nut, you have to realize a hexagon is just a combination of lines and 120 degree angles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set myself up with offset lines. Now here, if I want it to be 120 degrees, it's going to end up being a 30 degree line. Okay. Or not. Okay. There we go. Boom. And let's get our other line here. Uh, 130. 180 minus 130 is 150. Draw my line. Great. Now I'm going to get that offset tool. So let's go offset. Okay, select object. There it is. And we're going to offset by half of the 0.62 that's referenced. That's 0.31. Voila, we have a bolt. I'll prove it. I'm going to use the fillet command. Okay, first object, second object. No. Let's go fillet one, two. Except I don't want a radius. Fillet. Good. Got to redo this command. Fill it. Okay, we're done there. Let's trim this up, make it look nice. Good, that's the easy part. Now, we gotta get into these circles. So the easiest one is going to be this two and a half, uh, two and an eighth ish, 2.12 inch circle. So the center point is gonna be origin. I'm gonna draw my Center point zero comma zero and two point one two radius. Good. Now I want to point out the second radius, okay, that we're going for is here. Now it takes a little bit of thought on this. So from this point to here, 
Okay, we got to figure out this length. My rationale for my value comes from this. There is a radius of 0.06 on both ends of this claw. So if there's a radius of 0.06 and another radius of 0.06, that's going to be 0.12. So that means that the x distance for the center point here is 0.12. And look at that. The height here is 0.12. So I'm going to use a construction line. I'm going to make a rectangle from origin with a width of 0.12 and a height of 0.12. Now using this point, I can now draw a circle with the radius. Woo! There it is with the radius that I need, which is 2.38. Okay, here we're starting to close in on the shape. What we have to do is add this inside corner here. To get that, I can see there's a new center point right here, which indicates a three inch radius from this point. So this point is going to be three inches down from this circle because it's on the Y axis. So if it's three inches from this point to there, I have to figure out what this value is so I can subtract it. Well, here, 2.12. So three minus 2.12. Uh, 3 minus 2.12 is 0.88, and that goes down. From this center point, I can generate my circle, which is 3. Okay, we're moving. We're cooking. So we have this one right here. They don't give me R. Rotten numbskulls didn't include it. So I'm going to guesstimate on this. You smooth the curve out in AutoCAD anyway, we're going to just do it manually. Um, but I also need to have my radius, that 0.5 radius. So I'm going to make a circle here, radius of 0.5. Okay. So at this point, I backfilled just a little bit. I added the circle around the nut. And there's two things we need to do. We need to draw this radius, and then we need to create this radius as well, and then mirror everything. So there's, there's three things. So first off, to draw that large radius, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle, a uh, circle, after I'm going to hover here, and I'm going to From this point, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess that point that's on the, let's see, the object. And here, I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to just try this angle like this so it's fairly smooth. That was a bad job. Let me do a better job. Circle, the bottom here, in line with origin. I'm going to pick let's go from I don't like it circle bottom I'm going to go up there I like that more. Okay, next thing, radius here for the claws. I'm going to just draw a line sideways. Great. Hit that trim command. And now I'm going to use the fillet tool to use the radius, 0.06. I'm going to make a 0.06 radius. So fillet, radius, 0.06, enter. First object, second object. Easy. Let's do it again. Fill it. 
radius. I'm going to just type it in because I don't trust the command prompt. Boom, we got our 0.06. Great. Now what I want to do is just clean things up that I don't want. I do want that. All right, let's draw the lines that smooth this out. So here, this is that three radius. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to draw a line that is tangent. You get that option, tangent. Good. Another line. I'm going to go tangent from, let's say, just back there to this line. There we go, tangent snap. Good. Now it's time to clean up. Let's get that trim tool. And I'm eliminating the things I don't want. And now that I got all these lines, it should be much easier to trim. This is looking good. Let's get that done. Great. And the last thing is to use the mirror command. So select objects. I'm going to first delete all the extra nonsense. And I'm going to use mirror command. Select everything. Enter. First point. And let's use this as the second point. Oh, look at that. Kind of looks like it's moving. It's not, but kind of looks like it. End point. All right. Oh, I keep doing that. Don't press escape until you've en pressed enter on the mirror. Um, select those objects. Enter. First point. And uh, click. Click. Enter. Now, really all I have to do is change this to a center. Hmm. You could change this to a hidden line, but for the purposes of this video, I'm kind of running out of time. Let me give it a quick shot. So what I've learned. Web-based AutoCAD is not nearly as robust as regular AutoCAD. Uh, you cannot assign... Uh, constraints the same way that you could in AutoCAD where you can generate a line and then make it be tangent to two circles. Uh, but I want you to give this an attempt the same way that I have. Make it represent the object and you can get a pretty close result with the web AutoCAD.